in this tutorial then we're going to be looking at baking a really kind of nice rounded cylinder to a really kind of low poly cylinder and just see how that works like one thing I get asked a lot is how many um, divisions should you have in kind of cylindrical objects and curves and stuff like that well the answer is it kind of completely depends on the game and the um, the model that you're making but um, a common rule is the, the less kind of detail you have the less amount of sides you have relative to your high poly the kind of harder it is for the normal map to produce good results so this is definitely very extreme what we're, what we're trying to do here now you notice based off the last lesson I already have the control edges around the edge to control that um, where the rays are firing from and I already have the smoothing group set on the end of each of the cylinder so let's just snap that into place again load up transfer maps and we'll just clear everything off this and I'm just going to rename this for some, something sensible low poly like that okay so we'll add low poly in here and we'll add high poly into here and exactly the same process as usual just normal set this to Call this TA low N. One and two four, tangent space and wild space, the low, everything should be fine here. And delete envelopes on bake. Okay, so let's just try that out. It's not normally worth rushing these settings to be honest, because when you leave one thing out there will be something wrong. Okay, so we can see our bake result here, and it doesn't look too bad, to be fair. So you can see we're getting a bit of waviness on the ends here. Uh, but other than that, these have come out pretty nicely. So you can see you can be very kind of extreme with this but typically you wouldn't achieve such a nice result with that and you can see that this isn't really a great portrayal of this model anyway even though the normal max kind of doing its job it's just not got the silhouette to cope with what this model is trying to portray so there's two kind of issues here. The first one is will your normal map bake, bake correctly and often it wouldn't normally work. Like we're getting a few errors around here. And the second thing is does it actually represent the model that you're trying to make? And in this case I would say this is probably a bit too low detail to really represent it. So although we've actually been quite successful with the normal map um, I would only use this from like a significant distance away so it would probably work for something like this kind of distance particularly if we change the diffuse colour like that. 